us, what's our point? What are we doing? I mean, if, if, if I come to a church and we do a concert or whatever, you know, what is, what is my agenda? What's my goal? Am, am I trying to leave them a song? Am I trying to leave them with an amazing night of music? No. I mean, there's always somebody. There are a million voices better than me. There are a million better songs. It, no matter who's watching this or, or you and I, we, especially in this generation where entertainment is so visceral and there, there are so many uh, uh, visually captivating and forms of entertainment that just in a snatch will have you, you know, reeled in, we're, what are we going to do? Try to top that? It's just ridiculous wow. for me to think that mm. we're going to make a musical stamp on a night that's going to change people for eternity because flesh will not change anybody for eternity. Right. You're right, brother. But a work of the Spirit Amen. always will. So when we go into a night like that, I, you know, I consider myself n never an artist. I'm not an artist. I'm a, I'm a worship leader, but I, I'm, not a, I'm not a singer. I'm not a songwriter. I'm an equipper. And so that's what you are. That you're, the, the bottom goal, the bottom line for you is to equip these people Amen. to connect to God. That's all there is. However it takes. If it means for us to jump over here, then do it. Don't complain about, well, this is not where my style or this is not this or that. Who cares about what your style this is? This is not where I am. Yeah, really. You know. who, who gives a rip? Nobody does. <laughs> and so just do what you have to do to equip these people to connect with God because they need it.